दुनिया का वो देश जिसकी अर्थव्यवस्था बहुत तेजी से आगे बढ़ रही है वो देश कौन सा है हमारा भारत यू कैन डिसलाइक हिज वेज लव हिज वेज बट यू कैन नॉट इग्नोर हिज वेज दी प्रेजेंस ऑफ पीएम मोदी इज अनबली इन एस्केबल वेदर नेशनली और इंटरनेशनली There is no doubt that during his stint as a prime minister India has seen tremendous growth and enjoyed global recognition This year we have general elections that will decide the fate of the Bharatiya Janata Party once again If the BJP wins again a third term is likely for Narendra Modi During Modi's two terms in office India has emerged as one of the fastest growing economies too Many sectors and industries boomed as well. In this special ET Markets Decoder episode, we dive deeper into how the stock markets and different sectors have grown ever since PM Modi took charge. I am Neha Vashisht Mahajan. Let's take a look. For this, we have taken data from May 2014 till 2024 and filtered a handful of sectors that performed exceptionally well during these two terms. Nifty IT has grown about 319% since 2014. Nifty Realty gained 310.13%. Nifty Energy is up 302.21%. Nifty Auto 211.12%. Nifty FMCG 194.54%, Nifty Infrastructure 170.98%, Nifty PSE 167.38% and Nifty India Defence has grown 146.20%. Please note that Nifty India Defence was not a listed sector earlier even though the stocks were listed so the data is as of 2022. Now to understand this better let us also take a look at different companies under these sectors the top companies under nifty it have also grown exponentially during this time period coforth shares have gained a whopping 1753.88% persistent systems shares grew 1676.90% emphasis shares have gone up 582.83% hcl technologies grew 388.03% Infosys 324.11% and TCS 284.08%. Under Nifty Realty, Brigade Enterprises, Swan Energy, Godrej Properties, the Phoenix Mills, Prestige Estates are there. Brigade has gained 1641%, Swan Energy has gained over 1000%, Godrej, Phoenix and Prestige has gained over 500%. Now coming to Nifty Energy, Reliance Industries has gained 448.15%, Power Grid 302.05%, Tata Power 301.60%, IOC 219.51%, and BPCL 217.50%. Moving on to the next sector, which is Nifty Auto. So under Nifty Auto, we have TVS Motor, Bal Krishna Industries, MRF, Ashok Leyland. and Aisha Motors all these companies have gained triple and four digits ranging from 500 to over 1600% next is nifty fmcg under nifty fmcg we have radico khetan which has grown 1598% britannia that has grown around 1054% tata consumer products with a gain of 686% Nestle India that has gained 430% and PNG Hygiene and Healthcare which grew around 367%. Another sector that performed really well is Nifty Infra. So Infra sector has also grown a lot. Top 5 companies that performed greatly are Godrej Properties with a gain of 939%, Bal Krishna Industries a gain of 728%, Indian Hotels Company with a gain of 656%. Apollo Hospitals Enterprise with a gain of 613% and MRF with a gain of 550%. Next is Nifty PSC. Under Nifty PSC we have Bharat Electronics Limited, Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited, REC Limited, NHPC, Power Finance Corporation. These stocks have grown in four and triple digits and the gains range from 300 to 1100% and above. 
The last sector is Nifty Defence, under which we have Solar Industries India Limited, Bharat Electronics Limited, and Astra Microwave Products Limited, that have grown to 693, 1134, and 639% respectively. As we can see, most of the stocks under these sectors grew exponentially in terms of percentage during the two stints. PM's bet on PSU stocks also skyrocketed the gains on PSU stocks that were not a favourite of many investors once. As per an IMF report from November 2023, India's economy showed robust growth over the past year. Even though there is a risk of global growth slowdown and headwinds, India is on track to be one of the fastest growing major economies in the world. That's all for today. I will see you next time.